Recovering from the coronavirus is a battle in itself for many patients, but when your immune system is already compromised, it's even tougher. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker finds out what getting coronavirus could mean for kidney patients on dialysis. Kidney patients on dialysis have a lot to think about when it comes to the coronavirus, both at home and when they go in to get their treatments. If you look at the data currently, I do not know any patient of our, in our dialysis unit, unit or in the rest of the city that they got infection from the dialysis unit. Dr. Shweta Bansal is a nephrologist with University Health System and an associate professor of medicine at UT Health San Antonio. She says even though no dialysis patients have contracted the disease in a unit, they still need to be careful. You want to make sure that in your unit, everybody is wearing masks. Your fellow patient who's sitting like on four to six feet away from you. Dr. Bonsal also says diabetes plays a big role. Diabetes is very, very prevalent in this area, which is the biggest risk factor for the chronic kidney disease and leading to dialysis. In the U.S., there are over 500,000 dialysis patients. About 46% of them are on dialysis because of diabetes. Here in Texas, we have 10% of all the dialysis patients in the country, but a whopping 75% are on dialysis because of diabetes. Dr. Bonsal also says those patients, especially if they have diabetes, need to be extra careful at home. Having a small outdoor gatherings keeping a distance of 10 feet or wearing masks is still feasible. You can do that. Dr. Bonsal also says that if you know of any family member who may have been exposed to the virus, to keep them away from any dialysis patients who are more vulnerable to catching that disease. Jeremy Baker, KENS 5 Eyewitness News. For more information about Family Health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of the Wear the Gown stories. Just go to wearthegown.com.